hello guys welcome to etabs video tutorials in this video tutorial we will go through some of the basics things so basically once you open etabs you can uh, select new model over here and in here you can have your uh, default settings saved or you can use the settings from a model file or you can use built-in settings so I'll be using US customary units or you can use metric units if you or MKS and over here you'll be selecting your code Indian code or AISC 14 2014 nothing but so over here AS, AISC 360-10 2010 code steel code and for concrete I'll use AISC 318-14 I'll select OK now once you come up with this tab you need to select your basic grid data so all these things we will be doing in the coming video tutorials for now we will just focus on grid so as you can see the number of grid lines in x direction are 4 and y direction are 4 spaced at let's say 12 feet we are not going to do anything special in here today but I just wanted to show you what does this tab mean so number of stories will be 4 let it be 4 and I'm gonna keep the typical story height which is nothing but the first story height usually all the story heights will be 12 and bottom story height where you can change it like the first one which is usually sometimes bigger comparatively or you can enter your custom story data you can edit you can change all the story data so and have different colors anyways so we'll just say simple story data and I'll select okay now you can see this is my Z view at 45 48 feet sorry and now if I if I wanted to show you you should have a move down in list so you can move down so it will be at 12 feet now and right now it's at 0 feet so yeah these are some few basics I'll show you and over here you will have the command tools like frame you can draw a beam or a cable or a column anything you want and these are uh, wall elements rectangular you can draw a shear wall and stuff and in file yeah you know all these commands they are basic commands say open a model new model and importing and exporting is like from Revit or any other structural drawing structural framing software to this software you can also export to Revit and other softwares next thing is you have print graphics and create reporting create report it shows whole of project report like whatever you want you can make sure that is created and project information you know that next in edit you can see uh, there is cut copy paste delete I mean you can copy a member and paste it wherever you want you can replicate it and you can extrude the view then you can edit a frame like if you have a beam and you wanted it to be divided into two members you can divide it and then coming to the view in here you have 3d view plan view elevation view which shows you the elevations plans plan view and the 3d view too and then again you have a zoom in and zoom out you can set your grid visibility to be shown like if you turn it off it, the grid will be turned off and as you know in define we can define our material properties our section properties a rectangular section or a steel section whatever we want and then we have load patterns combinations all the other things which we want to define needs to be defined over here and coming to draw as I shown you the draw tab over here it has the same icons in here draw cable or beam or uh, walls 
slabs whatever you want now coming to select in here you can use select and you can select any kind of beams like if you want to select beams spanning in x direction you can select that like with coordinate specification and you have different types of properties labels groups so that is you can do in select now coming to assign as you know that in assign we assign whatever the properties or elements frames properties we have uh, defined can be assigned through here and also the supports in frames you assign frames and then also the loads different types of loads finally you know analyze you run the analysis once you are done with defining and assigning everything in display you can see your results deformed shapes stresses and other results which require as per the design in design tab you have steel frame design concrete frame design con composite beam design steel joist design shear wall design and other steel connection design too also you have detailing in e tabs which we will learn through our next videos and there are some tools and these are some options that we might prefer to select some of them and not now as you know like some of this are similar to sap but you have a lot of broad a lot broader aspect to learn in e tabs so we'll start working from the next video we'll start with a simply supported beam and move from there all right thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe